we all know Jason Momoa for portraying the role of Arthur Curry, aka Aquaman, in the DCEU, but based on the rumors, the actor may be up for another role. For today's video, we'll be talking about Jason Momoa as he sparks rumors of Lobo coming to the DCEU. Just who is this character? Plus, here are our top 5 Marvel character picks we'd love to see Jason Momoa play. Only here in today's video, could Jason Momoa be performing double duty in the superhero realm after sparking rumors of Lobo joining the DC Extended Universe. The DC Universe is about to enter an exciting period, and it appears that much is occurring behind the scenes to truly excite fans. New, exciting things appear to be in store now that DC Studios has replaced DC Films and James Gunn and Peter Safran are overseeing the studio's superhero assets in place of Walter Hamada. The excitement appears to be focused mainly on Justice League actor Jason Momoa, who claims that the new management is fulfilling all of his ambitions. Shortly after making those remarks, DC Studios co-head Gunn published his first article on the social networking site Mastodon, which featured a picture of Lobo, a DC bounty hunter. Some fans have gone crazy due to the time of the post and the comments. Momoa might play Lobo, who knows? Does this represent what the actor meant when he said his wishes were being fulfilled? Yet Yes, some questions need to be answered and Momoa provided a partial response when asked about them. The actor was questioned about whether there was a connection between the two circumstances during an interview for Comic Book before the release of the movie Slumberland. Momoa admits that he loves the character of Lobo, but stops short of answering the question directly. Well, everyone knows I'm a comic book fan, Momoa said. The comic I collected the most, and I have every comic there is, you can do your research and find out what it is. What sort of person is this that Momoa finds so endearing? One of the DC Comics characters characters who fit the anti-hero, anti-villain description is Lobo. The interplanetary mercenary and bounty hunter Lobo is from the utopian planet Cesarnia. Since he has battled with and alongside superheroes like the Man of Steel, Superman, it is challenging to categorize him as either a hero or a villain. However, for the time being at least, it appears Momo will have some involvement in the upcoming project starring the character, whether it be a series or a feature film. We have yet to receive any formal word from people like Gunn and Saffron who could make it happen. What are Momoa's possibilities of playing the interplanetary mercenary, given the actor currently portrays Aquaman in the same universe, is the bigger problem and question. There would already be a precedent established to follow if Momoa were to be chosen for the part. One such instance is the portrayal of Minerva by Gemma Chan in Captain Marvel and Cersei in Eternals. It is unclear whether Momoa's dreams coming true is related to the Lobo tease as well. Now, since we already talked about the possibility of Lobo joining the DCEU, with Momoa portraying the role, we might as well share with you these five Marvel characters we'd like the actor to play. Starting this short list, we have Sabretooth. Jason Momoa has previously portrayed a comic book superhero. So how about a villain? Victor Creed, often known as Sabretooth, is a frequent foe of the Hulk and the X-Men in Marvel Comics. You may already be aware that Sabretooth is Wolverine's greatest opponent. Here's a quick example of how much Sabretooth hates Wolverine. On his birthday every year, no matter where he is, Sabretooth hunts Wolverine and only gives up when he is within a hair's breadth from murdering it. Why? Just because he can. Sabretooth is a bestial superhuman mutant assassin who works as a mercenary. The protagonist is most notable for having a quick healing factor, razor sharp fangs and claws, and frequently kicking Wolverine in the behind. It would be really awesome to see Momoa bring Sabretooth to life, especially with the X-Men frequently being reported to join the MCU. Additionally, isn't his body ideal for the part? Next, we also think the actor would be a perfect fit to play Beta Ray Bill. Beta Ray Bill is the first superhero outside of the Norse pantheon in Marvel Comics who is deserving of holding Thor's hammer, Mjolnir. The character was designed to shock audiences by changing from a monster to a magnificent surprising hero with the same abilities as Thor, including superhuman strength, control over electricity, and flight. The 1983 comic book, The Mighty Thor, which serves as the apparent source of inspiration for Taika Waititi's recent Marvel film, Thor Love and Thunder, first introduced Beta. Beta Ray Bill is a prominent character in comic books. He belongs to the multi-dimensional superhero group Thor Corps and has weather controlling abilities similar to Storm of the X-Men. He has fought alongside other heroes in conflicts with Thanos and Galactus 
Genesis as a member of the Guardians of the Galaxy. As the champion of Sakaar, the superhero almost made his MCU debut in Thor Ragnarok, but he was ultimately eliminated from the picture due to his limited screen time. The actor hasn't done anything similar before, so why not? In my opinion, playing Beta may be a wonderful opportunity for Momoa to be a member of the Guardians of the Galaxy as well as an alternate Thor. Moving on to the next one, we'd also like to see Momoa play Nova from the Marvel comics. Nova is a member of a police agency that patrols the galaxy and is an interplanetary hero with connections to several Marvel Comics superhero teams. He is endowed with superhuman strength, speed, endurance, and flight abilities thanks to the Nova Force, a boundless energy field that is available to all Nova Corps members. The character Nova was originally planned to appear in the Guardians of the Galaxy film, but was discarded before the script was finalized. Marvel president Kevin Feige previously hinted that Nova might enter the MCU in some way. Momoa may play Richard Ryder, the most well-known variation of Nova to date, despite there having been several different iterations of the character. Due to his superhuman skills, Ryder was able to finish his interstellar travels. He then returned to Earth and joined the Guardians of the Galaxy in their battle with Annihilus and his Annihilation Wave. We might soon get to witness Nova in action, because James Gunn is presently working on the third installment of the Guardians of the Galaxy film series. Continuing with the list, we also think the actor would make a perfect Hercules. The decision to cast Jason Momoa as Hercules is entirely based on wishful thinking, but we have no doubt that he would do an outstanding job. Have you seen the man, for instance? Anyway, MCU Phase 4 made extensive use of the mystical elements seen in Marvel Comics, with prominent roles going to the Scarlet Witch, Agatha Harkness, Doctor Strange, and Loki. How long until more Greek heroes, like Hercules himself, appear in the MCU? Russell Crowe has confirmed he will play Zeus in Thor Love and Thunder. Marvel Studios partners and directing team Joe and Anthony Russo so revealed in 2020 that they were developing a live-action Hercules movie based on the animated 1997 film alongside Shang-Chi author David Callahan. The movie's plot will either be a fresh adventure or a reimagining of an already existing story, which we don't yet know. It's important to remember, though, that the character is crucial to the secret invasion plot. Hercules creates a group called the God Squad to combat the Skrull gods who are orchestrating the invasion of Earth. Hercules could soon make his big-screen debut because Marvel Studios is currently adapting the Secret Invasion narrative for a Disney Plus limited series. And finally, wrapping up this list is none other than Kazar. Imagine Tarzan, but with Marvel. One of the earliest superheroes in the history of Marvel Comics is Kazar, also known by his far less cool moniker Kevin Plunder. Kazar, who is frequently referred to as Marvel's Lord of the Jungle, resides in Savage Land, a remote region of Antarctica where the primordial environment has been preserved by ancient alien technology. Due to his experience, surviving in the Savage Lands wilderness, the character has aided Spider-Man and Daredevil in the comic books and is a better combatant than even Kraven the Hunter. He lacks the superhuman physical ability, but he has developed close to superhuman hunting, athletic, and martial skills. When the Skrulls invaded Earth, Kazar played a crucial role in uniting the many Savage Land tribes to resist the aliens. It seems like a good time to allow Kazar to make his MCU debut because the MCU seems to be pushing into its Skrull-related storylines. Mind you, all of these characters are nothing but wishful thinking, but we can't help but wish at least one of them gets to be portrayed by Jason Momoa. From the looks of it, Lobo is our best bet that could make a debut in the DCEU. While waiting for confirmation, you can watch Jason Momoa in his newest Netflix project, Slumberland, which premieres on November 18th. With that, we're wrapping up today's video on the possibility of Jason Momoa portraying the role of Lobo in the DCEU. Which other Marvel or DC character do you think fits in the best? Let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching today's video, and before you go, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel with the notification bell on for more videos like these. See you next time!